the factory design utilities module in Inventor and AutoCAD and how to create asset chains. Now, an asset chain is different to a normal asset, whereas a normal asset would be just a static object, something like, you know, a piece of a fence, uh, where a asset chain would be, would be sort of pieces of fence, which you then uh, will draw up. So I'll just draw a line, you know, sort of going 90 degrees or a couple of angles uh, with it. And then uh, I will then basically go back and say, you know, create an asset out of it and it will, you know, line up all those uh, fence pieces um, on the line that I've drawn. So the first thing I need to do is create an asset chain. And in the asset chain, we'll see it, it sort of puts out quite nicely this different steps I need to create an asset chain. So the first thing is create, you know, one asset chain basics, uh, then uh, select my straight segments, select my turn segments, publish location, and then a summary of what I've done. So the first thing I'm going to do is do a name. So my first asset chain. And we have a choice of either imperial or metric units. And then we can put some properties in, author, company, keywords. I'm going to leave that as blank for now. Next, I'm going to go choose my asset. So I'm going to click on select asset and go search for the asset that I want. So I'm going to go search for a roller um, roller conveyor. And if I go look, it's not horizontal curve roller. I would like a straight roller curver over there. So once I've done the straight roller curler, I can then choose start names and end names for my connectors that's, that's going to connect to that roller. Now, the connectors have already been put in the roller because you would have created an asset out of it initially. So I'm going to do con1 and for the end is con2. Then we have to uh, select our parameters for the segments. So you can see there that this is driven by width, height and length. So you can actually width, height and length it over there. And I can say, well, you know, I need to map it to a model key parameter that I've already created in you. So when creating a chain asset, you please, you know, keep in mind that we need to have a height, a width and the length to map to the segment parameter definitions over here. So width, let's go with width, uh, height, let's go with height and length, let's go with length over there. Then you choose a default value. So I'm going to choose 2000, uh, oh, so no, the width, let's make it 762. The minimum value, we can make it say 500. Then the height is, let's make length is 2000. Minimum value, let's make it 500. And then the height can be uh, 710. Actually, let's, let's swap these around. I wanna swap this over here. 762, 500, and make this 710 and 500 over here, we we'll make that 300. Okay, so once that's been done, we can go next and we go into our turn segment values. Okay, and then you have three different types of turn segments. So you've got arc turn, you've got a straight turn and extended arc turn. So I'm gonna do an arc turn over here. Go click on my select assets and go look for that uh, asset again. So I'm gonna say, well, roll is gonna be my key search word. And with that, let's go to horizontal, Curve roller conveyor. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Okay, and then uh, the start connector, we're going to go con3 and con4. Okay, and then let's go take a look at the width, height, angle, and radius. So once again, width and then height. Angle would be angle, and then radius would be your inner radius. Okay, so um, you know if you want to take a look at how these were actually set up, I would suggest going into the factory asset browser in Inventor or in yeah, in Inventor because it'll be your 3D asset. And just take a look at how at the first sketch I think it is um, how how these are created with the width, height, angle, and inner radius. So the default let's make it 710 minimum value 500. Height will be seven, I think six two. Let's go previous quickly. Yeah, seven six two. Uh, minimum value would be okay, five hundred. Okay, then angle. Let's make it ninety degrees. Minimum value. Let's make it twenty. The radius. Uh, what would our radius be? Let's make it five hundred. 
and minimum value 300. Okay, so there we go. So now I'm going to click on next while I fill out all those forms. And then we've got where would you like to publish the asset chain to? So local would be on your local hard drive or a server somewhere in your, in your workplace. Uh, cloud would be up in the cloud. And then also Vault if you if you need to create it in the Vault. If you're running the Autodesk Vault as well. So I'm just going to do local. And uh, let's go and select next. It gives me a summary of exactly what I've done. So I can re review the summary of, of, of what I've put in here, as well as edit each one. And once I'm happy with that, I can click on publish. Okay, and then once I've done that, I'll go through to my user assets. And let's take a look at, there we go, my first asset chain. So there we go, we've created it. And if I want to place it in, double click it. And then I don't have any uh, lines or arcs to create my asset chain, but I'll select my lines and arcs and it would create my asset chain in Inventor. Or I could alternatively go into AutoCAD and create it there. Thanks very much for watching.